wasn't planning on filming a video today because of all the wind and everything but um, I decided to come out to the garden and look and I started seeing a ton of tomato farmers um, my tomatoes had stopped producing and then they had started again because during the summer it's so hot and tomatoes lose their blossoms when it's hot. So I didn't think we were going to get any more tomatoes this year, but surprise we have. So since we are still getting tomatoes, I'm going to try to protect them as much as I can. I've been pulling off a bunch of tomato hornworms and every time I look in a different spot there is more. <laughs> One of the clear signs of tomato hornworm damage are these empty stems with no leaves. And that guy right there is just chilling. So, let's get him. Sometimes I pinch off the stems because I don't like to touch them. Um, sometimes when you go to pull them off, you get um, green, gooey stuff that comes out and it gets on your fingers. And there's another one right there. Oh look, there is one, and there's one right below it. Oh, and there's another one right there too. Man, there are so many. Well, let's get to protecting. Oh, and this is how many I've gotten so far. <laughs> That green yucky stuff right there is what gets on your fingers. And this one right here is a big guy, so we just going to take the, the whole stem. Ah, not there. There's not a lot left of my tomatoes from this year, my tomato plants, but... A tomato hornworm can strip what's left of these plants down in no time. And I love tomatoes. And also for me, picking off the stems of the tomato plant, it's actually less damage done than what they've already done. So, they'll lose a little bit extra, it's fine. But if I was to leave them here, I would lose every one of these. And look at the damage that was done. Snow leaves. Look. There's a little leaf. But, like, there's one. And more little baby tomatoes. It's supposed to warm back up next week. So that's going to do my tomato plants a lot of good. So it's supposed to warm up again next week. Um, I say warm up. It's 75 degrees and I'm freezing to death. I do not do good in cold. 
which is also a reason I don't like to garden in the fall or winter. I'm trying to get better. And yes, I have a thick jacket on in 75 degree weather and a thick long sleeve shirt. That's a nice blurry tomato. And that is a lot of tomato hornworms for a 16 foot row of tomatoes. So you may be wondering what I plan to do with all of these tomato hornworms. I'll show you. They love them. It's a good little treat. Look, one thought it was getting away. Up here. Red. Oh. And that's the easiest fix to their hormone problems. Found one. And can we just talk about all these different kinds of peppers I made? That one's like a purple color. And it turns red. And these are a new one this year. And these. Are so cute. Little and purple. And there's this one. It's half green. And Zoe wanted to show you all the grasshopper. Q found it in the water. Q has a, a caterpillar. So if you eat a pepper from a store and you save the seeds out of it, don't let anyone tell you that um, if you plant that seed, it will not grow because these are all true. Oh, yeah. Is it after you done spit it out? <laughs> Pretty good. How those tomato worm fingers taste? Blech. Which is the reason I didn't eat it. Thank you for watching.